PC547 NPN transistor is one of the most popular bipolar junction transistors. So many amazing electronic projects can be built using this transistor. Recently some electronic projects got viral which were completely based on the PC547. In this video we will develop the same electronic projects using the most popular 2N2222 NPN transistors. I will also explain the working principle of each electronic circuit and we will test each circuit on a breadboard. The 12 volt and 5 volt power supply PCB board used in this video is sponsored by the PCBWay company. PCBWay is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices. Only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. The Gerber files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find a link in the description. The same electronic projects can also be developed using the BC547 NPN transistor instead of using the 2N2222 NPN transistor. So it really doesn't matter whether you want to use 2N2222 NPN transistor or BC547 NPN transistor. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon and Banggood. The components purchase links are given in the description. Number 4 on the list is the light meter which is one of the viral videos. The brightness of the LED depends on the light falling on the LDR which stands for the light dependent resistor. I did one modification in this project which is I added a potential meter so that the sensitivity can be controlled as per the requirement. Let's have a look at the circuit diagram and understand how this project works. So first let's start with the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. The positive and ground pins of the DC female power jack are connected with the input and middle leg of the 7805 voltage regulator. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volts LED. This is a current limiting resistor. An LDR and a potentiometer are connected in series which makes a voltage divider. LDR is also a variable resistor but its resistance changes as the light falling on the LDR changes. So this way we always get a variable voltage which completely depends on the light intensity. The purpose of using the potential meter instead of using a permanent value resistor is that we can change the resistance by rotating the knob of the potential meter. A wire from the middle of the voltage divider circuit is connected with a base of 2N2222 NPN transistor. The varying voltage which is coming from the voltage divider actually controls the 2N2222 NPN transistor. The emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground while the collector of the transistor is connected with the cathode pin of the LED which is connected in series with a 330 ohm resistor. This is a current limiting resistor. This circuit is powered up using the 5 volts from the 5 volt regulated power supply. Now let's build this circuit on a breadboard.
Number three on the list is the non-contact AC live wire tester. As you can see, it's quite sensitive that even it can detect my hand. Let's have a look at the circuit diagram and discuss how this project works. The 5 volt regulated power supply remains the same. A coil is connected with a base of 2N2222 NPN transistor. The transistors D2 and T3 makes the Darlington pair. A Darlington transistor configuration, also known as a Darlington pair, or super alpha circuit consists of two NPN or PNP transistors connected together so that the emitter current of the first transistor T3 becomes the base current of the second transistor T2. Darlington emitter follower is two transistors operating as one. Both collectors are tied together. The emitter of the first is connected with the base of the second. This means that the overall current gain beta is given by the gain of the first transistor multiplied by the gain of the second transistor. So the transistors T2 and T3 drives the transistor T1 which turns on and turns off the 5 volt buzzer. Now let's build this circuit on a breadboard. Number two on the list is the water level monitoring. Now let's have a look at the circuit diagram. This circuit is also powered up using the 5 volt regulated power supply. The 5 volt wire from the power supply is dipped in the water along with four wires coming from the basis of all the 2 and 2222 NPN transistors. For more levels, you can simply increase the number of the circuits. All the circuits are exactly the same. Each LED is turned on as the water container is filled with water. Let's build the circuit on a breadboard.
Number one on the list is a portable security system based on the mini PIR sensor, 2N2222 NPN transistor and a buzzer. Now let's have a look at the circuit diagram. This circuit is also powered up using the 5 volt regulated power supply. The plus and minus pins of the mini PIR sensor are connected with the 5 volt and ground. The out pin of the PIR sensor is connected with the base through a 10 kilo ohm resistor. When the PIR sensor detects a human, it gives 5 volts on the base which turns on the transistor and as a result the buzzer is activated. This mini PIR sensor has a total of 3 male headers which are clearly labeled as plus which will be connected with the plus 5 volts, out which will be connected with the base of 2N2222 NPN transistor and a minus pin which will be connected with the ground. Now let's do the connections on a breadboard. The same projects can be built using the BC547 NPN transistor. So this is how easily cool electronic projects can be designed without using a microcontroller. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode and thanks for watching.